Uh, so today, we're going to be talking about an institutional activity in the United States, which occurs across the U.S., okay, and it's fairs, county fairs. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the Western Montana Fair. So this is a, a regional fair for all of the western part of the state of Montana. In a fair, I'm going to give you a very brief description, and then we're going to watch uh, essentially an advertisement for it. It's about five minutes long. Okay, so you guys can get an idea of all the things that happen at a fair. Okay. Then we have a guest speaker who is very knowledgeable about uh, country fairs, about their economic role, their social role, and their history, and kind of how they play into the, uh, the culture of rural America. So once she's kind of giving you some of that background information, we're going to talk about the, the words we can use to describe a fair experience, what you're going to see, what you would you know, hear and smell and interact with. And then at the end of the class, we have a role-playing exercise okay, to get you guys engaged again with each other and practice your English skills. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to kill the lights. We're going to watch this video. And hopefully that'll give you a visual idea of what a country fair is all about. We have, we have here some kind of you know, gathering of people, peasants and uh, countrymen here. Okay. Oh, when does it happen? Is it in the summer or? Uh, mostly in summer. There's no snow in the summer and they're gathering to uh, around the church, uh, celebrating some saints. Okay, is, um, is there, are there lots of them for different towns, or is there a big one for lots of villages? Okay. 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 So if they have that and they're bringing the honey together, are they then selling the honey to yes, someone? Yes. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty similar experience. Okay. Go ahead and have your team dead. All right, so the role playing. What's the hardest part of that? It obviously wasn't easy, right? This is a challenge. Okay, you got to put yourself in the shoes and then find the words in a foreign language to figure out how you need to accomplish this. So what's what's difficult about about this kind of an exercise? Scenario: You have to invent uh, a part, uh, part, a part. Yeah. Only for uh, more people that then you can uh, control. Okay. And that's that's going to be a problem. Oftentimes in interactions, it may be something you didn't see coming. And there's a lot of people involved, right? And you can't necessarily control the situation. And so figuring out language to help you deal with that, especially in a foreign language, is a lot easier if you practiced it ahead of time, right? If you find yourself in that situation without rehearsing, that makes it difficult, right? Well, you'll have to know what does go on in the place really good so you can talk about it. Okay. So we don't really, aren't really good. No, okay, okay. You haven't been to one, but we did talk about it yeah. for an hour first. So, you know, you have to, sometimes you've got to be able to stretch yourself a little bit to, um, to try to solve these. But that does make it tougher. Okay. Anything else? Maybe we should speak louder oh, because of the music from the crowd, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it was loud, right? Maybe you guys couldn't hear each other, right? you gotta, you got you to gotta speak up a little bit when you're playing, all right? So we're going to be doing more of these, and okay, we've done them before, we're going to do them again. So just remember, right, you may never find yourself in a fair in Montana, right, but the ability to use your English to try to get a whole group of people to resolve uh, their timing the way that they want to get something done is probably something you will get to do at least once in your life, okay? So keep in mind the kind of language that worked, the kind of language that didn't, okay? And you guys have homework tonight. All right. You don't have to have sources for this one, so it can be easy, okay? 150 words. I want a short story about a day at the fair, okay? I want you to describe. You can be whatever. You can be yourself. You can pretend 
you're somebody else, a different kind of person, what have you, explain what happened to you at a day at the fair, 150 words. You can be the rodeo rider talking about that, or the guy selling brand new tractors. It doesn't matter. It's just a story. I want a short story about going to a fair, right, and using kind of the language we, we described today and discussed today in 150 words, give or take. Um, that's it. Any questions? All right. Well, thank you for coming today. I will see you guys next week with your homework, same time.